East Greenville, Mississippi, right? Is it popping strict in, in, in Greenville, Mississippi? Everywhere. Hell yeah! The average medium in, in Greenville, Mississippi, guess how much it is? $19,000 of what our people make average. And when their workforce is deplenishing for us as a so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American. Right Who getting shot up in Greenville, Mississippi? Who dying at the hands of people that look like us in Greenville, Mississippi? But guess what, though? The damn destroyed ass black sister that's in double quick right now is waving by for us to get off the goddamn corner. And we here with the word of God. That's crazy as hell. Why? Because all people love the damn bottom. They hate each other at an all time hour rate to the point where we come with the solution. And guess what they do? They want us to leave. Next time. Right. So, what are you doing in your action that lined up with the word of God that's gonna help save your soul from that salvation? To help save your soul to get salvation from that fire? I repeat. Huh? I gotta repeat. Yeah, you do gotta repeat. But what you doing though? Can you repent from the church? You going on the wrong day, sis. This this block right here be filled up. You ever roll down here on a Sunday? What here in Walker Church right here? The cars be packed all the way down at the, the sidewalk, right? Why are the people going to the church and paying him to tell them lies? We come out here with the truth for free and people blow the damn horn. Because they hate to hear God's word. Read what you got. The book of Genesis chapter 60 verse 5. Listen real quick. That God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. It says God saw. The wickedness of man was evil in the earth. Indianola, Mississippi, right? Back when I came up, when I was in Indianola, there used to be a lot of fighting going on. What's going on now in 2024? It's a lot of shoot. This is a small town. And the shoot, the people getting killed. At a rapid rate down here. What you think the world is coming to? An end. What you got to do to get right with God? You said, repent, give me that ask. Because I can tell you got a spiritual side and God want to deal with you, but it's some things that you got to get out of your mind and conform your mind 
and to go and to do the what God words say do. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Repeat ye therefore uh -huh. and be converted. What's going to convert us? Because it said repent like you said, but then it says also you have to convert. What convert means? Guess what? We don't know about the Bible. Guess what, sis? We got all the answers. If you don't know, just simply say you don't know it. We're going to get the scripture for you. So it says repent, just like you said, but it also said you must convert as well. Now we better read what conversion means. Conversion. What conversion means? You familiar when it said conversion? Yeah. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord. The what? The law of the Lord. Just like I asked you, do we supposed to be going to church on Sunday? And what you say? Huh? Do, sis, do we supposed to be going to church on Sunday? Church yeah, the church, right, but why they don't teach that though? Why they teach that? That building right there, the pastor is the person that's over the church. Why they teach us that that's the church? And why we look to Henry Walker for guidance? When we, when we can simply read for ourselves. Read on. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh -huh. Converting the soul. You heard what he said? You lost track, sis. Remember, it says you got to repent and convert. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh -huh. Converting the soul. It says the laws of God going to convert our soul. You know what a law that they don't teach in the church? Give me Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Let me get a law that they don't teach in the church. And because we break God's laws in Indianola, Mississippi, it's all matter of war going on in the city. It's all about 10,000 people in Indianola. But the crime rates are, 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 are through the roof now. Back when I was growing up, I graduated from Ginger. Back when I was growing up, we fought. Now they sue me. They call them sticks because the, the, the gun that they got come all the way from their side, all the way down their leg. What's gonna protect y'all though? Who's gonna protect y'all? Where are the righteous men in Indianola outside of us right now that's gonna protect y'all? That's the question. But guess what? Y'all finna leave here. Y'all ain't gonna give thought. Time gonna pass by and guess what? The Lord gonna send that death angel to knock at y'all door. We all know we gotta go, but what are we doing to prepare ourselves to be right and one with God? I can tell you right now, it ain't in the church. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman. The who? The woman. Listen to the law that God said. They go to share it, Bobby. You might see my mama. Read. The woman <laughs> shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. But I guarantee you what we just read. You ain't gonna hear it and hear it walk the church at New Jerusalem. Right. Why? Because it's set up to where our enemies have set traps up in our community to make us go against our God. <laughs> to the point where we want to blow the damn horn because we hate to hear God's word. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Right, but I, that's why I said the building, because they can change the name, but the church still remains the same and the spirit that comes with it. What has that church done for Indianola as a community? Now, how long the church been taking the building funds up, the tithes and offering up? Forever. So, do that church really serve a purpose to change the lives of all people in the community? And not only that church, all the rest of the churches that's in the you know, Mississippi throughout the world. No, they serve no purpose. They teach us 
Lies. Read what you got. Verse 12. Please. Yeah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 12. Yeah. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because she despised this word and trust in oppression uh -huh. and perverseness uh -huh. and stay their own. So guess what? We when we go to these buildings, we trust in oppression. Because they don't they don't do nothing to cause us to turn from all captivity. We at the bottom of society. Who run all of the stores and everything that's in our community? Do we? Why? Why not? So when we pay taxes, do it benefit Southgate? Do it benefit the plaza? Do it benefit over here on Jenna Davis? What about Uptown, Church Street? Why? That's what I'm asking you. Why do these things don't benefit us as a nation of people and we still on the bottom of society? Give me Jeremiah 5 verse 25. Because when you look down at these pictures right here, who did this to us? Well, Caucasian people. Caucasian people. Now, Indianola. Who run everything in Indianola? Caucasian. The damn Caucasian. But predominantly in the hoods who occupy those areas. The, the black folks. The bottom of society. And we learn all of that stuff that you think you know from the church. Who live in the bottom of society? But but who run everything you didn't know? Why? No, hell no. We was here first. That church is the main reason. This is the reason why. We learned that from here. Now look, look what we got here. We got man-made religion. Ain't that a Baptist church right there? Let's look up and see who that is. John Smith Baptist, created in 1608. What kind of man is he? He a Caucasian. So he created the Baptist religion of what we believe in now to where we go to this building as a Baptist. That's what you say you believe in, right? And it has nothing to do with our people or our God. So what, what, so what religion like Baptist are we are? No, we, we don't we don't worship. We don't worship man or the things that was created by man. We simply worship God and the commandments that he ordained for us to keep. Right. We're supposed to be keeping laws, statutes, and commandments, like today. It's a matter of now, it ain't, it ain't got all our source, all our energy, and all our power supposed to be right here. That's right. That's it. All of our source and power come from here. Meanwhile, we have source and power that we give to the white man. Why? Because we, this, this is my mama right here. Why? Because they teach, they taught us this in this church right here. We've been lied to for far too long. And we still believe this. We still believe in the lies that they teach us. You still said you go to this church and believe it, and it's in it everything hey, taught man. against us. Man, what you got, Mom? That's your mom. Oh, you, yeah, we, we solely we believe in it. Yeah. And they, uh, they've been teaching us yeah. lies for far too long. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28. No, no, give me Jeremiah. Go, go back to Jeremiah 5, verse 25. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, uh -huh. and your sins have been holding good things from you. It says your iniquities have turned away good things from you. That's the reason why we're on the bottom, because we ain't seen. They shooting up, they shot my grandma house up. They shooting up all around in the you know. They killing each other, and we look like each other. But meanwhile, guess what our people do? Call the police on us. Jeez, all man. because we telling them, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not commit adultery. Oh, love, love your neighbor like you love yourself. Bring it out. These are the things that they ain't teaching. That's the reason why Illinois gonna forever be a place of war and bloodshed. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. 
nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 